So the role of the herbivore in nature is to act as a pruner to the biomass that, of course, collects solar energy. So this, this plant here, this, this, this grass, um, is actually more efficient at collecting solar energy and turning it into uh, carbon, into biomass, than trees and shrubs. That's why all the deep soils on the planet were built under prairies and not under forests. So as the plant reaches this senescent period, the nursing home phase, the herbivore comes along and actually bites it and prunes it off to restart this rapid growth accumulation. And that's how the herbivore functions, why there are so many herbivores, and that's why when herbivores are moving, mobbing, and mowing, they are symbiotic to soil development. If you remove the herbivore, it actually becomes a liability ecologically rather than the most efficacious soil builder on the planet. So providing that um, animal impact, um, you know, breaking up the soil caps and allowing more cycling of water and cycling of nutrients down into the soil profile is a really key component. But I think in the big picture, when you step back and look at it, they're actually allowing us to hold more water. There's more water holding capacity in soils that have been effectively managed with livestock and cattle grazing than otherwise. So we haven't even tapped that in terms of um, our ability to, to sequester not only more carbon, but more water holding capacity in our soils. And livestock will help us do that. I think a lot of people have anti-meat notions that are based on the environmental footprint of factory farming of animals, confinement farming of animals and managing animals in a holistic, diversified system is a totally different discussion. And it's exciting to watch each year the data pile up and the success stories pile up. Working in Africa, working um, all over the world, you know, you see what real food insecurity looks like. And I believe holistic management is a key component in addressing those problems. And most importantly, as a father and a husband, I want to leave the land better for my kids in the future and to leave a landscape that they can improve on as well. 